Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to finally bring you my Vera Bradley Disney Aerial Floral Haul. I got all of the pieces that I ordered uh, finally a couple weeks ago. I ordered my first order like right off the bat, and then I think Vera Bradley was having either trouble or something uploading the complete collection to the website, so it was really hard and almost impossible for some items to search for them and purchase them. And so I did end up waiting a couple hours, but I wanted to put in my initial order right away. Then I went back in and purchased uh, a couple of other things. So a couple of those things just came like within the past couple of days, even though I ordered them uh, when the collection first launched almost two weeks ago. So I'm really excited to show you what I have. Uh, this is a really, really fun collection and probably one of if not my favorite Disney pattern release thus far. So as usual, I'm gonna start small and work my way up to the bigger items in the collection that I purchased. So this is the Zip ID, and this is in the Aerial Floral Ditzy pattern. So with this collection, you mainly get two patterns. You get Aerial Floral and Aerial Floral Ditzy. And Basically, the main major differences are in the Ditzy pattern, you do not get Ariel. I know it has Ariel in the name, Ariel Floral Ditzy, but she is not in the Ditzy pattern. And so if you want Ariel in the pattern, when you're shopping, whether you're shopping online or in person, make sure you know you're looking at the tag and you're looking at the pattern closely because the color scheme and most of the characters are similar except for the fact that Ariel is miss missing in the Ditzy pattern. One of my speculations as to why that is, is because Ariel is a, a larger illustration. She is a, a bigger character compared to the Under the Sea Critters. And so on a Zip ID, you know, you might have gotten a lot of cutoffs. And I know people hate that when they're trying to get the most ideal for them pattern placement. So that is my kind of speculation as to why they did that but also with many other collections especially the collaborations they do ditzy patterns so for the harry potter forbidden forest they did a ditzy pattern which was just a ton of he different head wigs and different poses and i love that they did that honestly because they had some very large characters on the main pattern so with the ditzy when you're getting like zip IDs or all-in-one crossbodies or any small item that features the Ditzy pattern, you're not gonna get a ton of cutoffs. I mean, you still could, but it's it's gonna be a lot less. So anyway, that's one thing that's missing. The second thing that's missing from the, the Ditzy pattern are the large florals. So there are some really big flowers in the aerial floral pattern, which we will see once we get to the larger items. So you'll see that there are still you know, I always forget that the camera's on this side. So I always start off on the wrong side. Um, there we go. But you'll see that there are still florals in here. And I know, you know, we're under the water. <laughs> I mean, there are like under the water type flowers, maybe not really flowers, but things that look like flowers. But you know, again, this is Vera Bradley. So they're gonna add their own touch and spin to their collaboration patterns. And I really like what they did here. I think it's very, it's very cutesy, it's very warm and happy and bubbly, literally, uh, and it's just really fun. The colors are, you know, I think they are a little precious. I do think that they're very cutesy, but I absolutely love them so much. I think they're very, very pretty. Um, so in the Ditzy pattern, I got the cut of, of Flounder and Sebastian here. We also have the little star with the smiley face. We have the trio of singing fish. And we've got some shrimp over here. We've got the clam with the little eyes in it. Really, really fun. I would say that, you know, the colors are showing up very accurate. I think maybe they're leaning a little towards a bluer cast. There's a little bit more green in there than what's showing up. But most, for the most part, it is, it, it's pretty accurate. I would say like 90% accurate showing up on camera for you today. So I love this. I love the, the splashes of that you know, that um, maybe violet purple in there. It's just really pretty. There's a lot going on. You know, you do have some other, you know, layers of sea life that maybe don't have 
they're not anthropom oh I can't say that word anthropomorphic so they they don't have like eyes and a face you know you've got this the starfish and shells that are like in the background too and then you've got the bubble detailing and the the seaweed and whatnot going on in the background with the flowers so very detailed very fun I do like that almost every inch of the pattern is jam packed with something interesting so. Whether you get a small or a big item, you're going to have something fun happening in your in your placement. So I love that. I will be completely honest with you. When I ordered my first order, I, I ordered two zip IDs, not with the intention of reselling. And I never ordered duplicates unless... So I have like a couple duplicates in my collection, one of which is the VBU crossbody because I love that bag and I use that so much. Both of them are worn because I've worn them so much. But I decided to go ahead and get duplicates of these because I knew I was going to be a little picky with the pattern placement. I wanted Flounder and I wanted Sebastian. Well, um, I'm trying to think if I did take a picture of those. I think I do have a picture here. So I will insert the pictures of the ones that I originally bought directly from the Vera website. I bought two of them. And so these are the placements that I got front and back. And I think they're cute. I like them. I really do. But I'm like, if I'm spending, you know, I, I can't get discounts on this. I have to pay, you know, full retail on this. I'm going to, I want to get the placement that I want to get. So I did end up returning those two back to Vera Bradley. And I found this one that has the cute little smiling flounder and the Sebastian. That's all I wanted on the back of mine. And so I was really happy to get that. Now, if we go to the front, I, this is another reason why I went for this one, because I really, really liked that you've got a cut of the happy, you know, waving flounder, and then you've got the dancing Sebastian. So I got both variants of the character. So, you know, you get these two in that, that kind of pose, and then you get them in the varying pose here. So I really like that. I even like the ID window. Um, I, I never buy zip IDs because particularly because it has a good ID window, because that's almost always going to get covered with an ID or a picture. But I do like that. I think I did pretty well there. Zipper works fine. That was another concern I had with the, the zip IDs that I had bought from Vera. One of them had a perfectly smooth zipper, like smooth as in it was very straight. It didn't, it wasn't lumpy. You can see this one's a little lumpy, but it works really well. The other one, the second one that I bought had a very lumpy zipper and while it worked, I was just worried about the longevity of it. You know, if I'm working that zipper a lot, is it going to last? And I do, you know, if you watch my videos, that the Zip ID is my favorite product that Vera has ever made. I use the Zip IDs more than I use even my bags in my collection. So I wanted a sturdy zipper that was going to last me a lifetime pretty much. So that was another reason on top of wanting a different pattern placement for me to find a, a better zip ID, in my in my opinion, a better zip ID. Uh, you all also get these ribbed zipper pulls. One side says Disney, one side says Vera Bradley, in that pretty pink color. And then, you know, you get your standard uh, Vera key ring here. So that is the zip ID. Very happy with that. The next item that I got, so this was a very sought after item. Everybody has been talking about the um, the, the treasure chest here. The official name of this, so I did I did save all my tags in these so I can remember. This is the mini travel accessory chest in aerial floral. It's not going to focus, but uh, that's what it is. And I just thought this was, I, I bought this for two reasons. One, it's a very unique item. Vera Bradley has never made anything that looks quite like this. A treasure chest. It's very unique. And the second reason I bought it is because I wanted a taste of the seashell quilting, which, I mean, I, I feel like the, the diehard Vera community is always prompting Vera to play around with different quilting styles. I mean, they do like the micro and the macro squares. They have their traditional diamond over at the factory outlet stores. They have the um, macro diamonds on the ultralight at the factory. They have done the channel stitching. They have, you know, here and there, they have played around with different quilting styles, but this is the first time ever that we are getting a seashell stitch here. And I, I thought that was really unique. It's very cool. It's very plush. 
This is recycled cotton. So, I mean, it is the recycled cotton uh, fabric, but it's very plush. And so far, I haven't noticed like any hair or lint sticking to this particular fabric. I, granted, I haven't used it yet. You know, it hasn't like been like out on my desk or in a bag for uh, any amount of time, really. So, I mean, time will tell how the fabric wears and how it kind of captures dust and dirt and hair and shows it. But right now it's doing really well. Again, I just, I wanted a taste of that seashell quilt. If you want a bigger taste of this, Vera, I think this was probably, in my opinion, their best embroidered item so far. I'll stick a picture of it right here. This is their large Vera tote. So they offer two different large Vera totes, the traditional one with the aerial floral pattern, and then this one, which is in the recycled cotton, and it features that seashell quilting with the embroidery on the front. That tote is absolutely gorgeous. I would buy it. I really would, but I'm, I'm trying to lay low. I, I mean, as I show you these, these purchases, but I'm trying not to go too, too crazy and get things that I might not use. I, I will admire it and I will use it, but I, I thought this was the perfect size to get that, that, that beautiful seashell quilting. Like I, I, I can still admire the quilting and this flounder em embroidery is just, it's lovely. I love the colors. I think they did a good job. You know, you can see his facial features. You can see his expression very well. I think the flowers are a nice bold touch and that purple and this, this green showing up a little bluer on camera. I would say it's a little greener than what you're seeing. Um, but I, I love those two colors together. I think they go really well together. You also get some seashell uh, embroidery and a couple more flowers there at the very top. You've got the same ribbed zipper pull with the Disney Vera Bradley on each uh, ribbon. There's the back. There's the bottom. So anyway, I just love that I got, you know, a nice full seashell right next to flounder that, you know, it's easy to tell what the quilting is too, which I love. So one of the neat features about this is that it looks exactly like a treasure chest. It zips right across pretty easily there. And this was kind of a surprise to me. It is, it is lined in like a suede-ish fabric. I know there's a specific name for this and I can't remember the name of this fabric. But basically if you buy like any products that hold your jewelry for you, there's always that like nice soft fabric in there so that you know, your your jewelry, the metals or whatever are not, they're not scratching up against like plastic or cotton or whatever. This is very soft. You do have the Vera Bradley Disney tag in there. And you know, while this could be intended for jewelry, I mean, you could use this for anything. To be completely frank with you, I have no idea what I'm going to use this for. Uh, again, I bought it, you know, because it's unique and the quilting, but I am sure that I will find a use for it. Actually, I just thought of one. I just bought, bought a mega pack of scrunchies because I have been using the same dirty, old, ripped scrunchies for like the past four years. So I finally bought a new pack of scrunchies and I think I'm going to put them in here because I constantly lose them and then I end up using the same two for like four or five years. So I might store them in here, at least for the time being. And I can definitely see using this uh, for travel. It is a little bit tricky to close because, you know, you kind of have to pull and pinch the fabric because you don't have any like you don't have anything to leverage onto to like move the zipper it's really easy to open a little bit more challenging to close so that is the mini travel accessory chest in aerial floral i'm just gonna stick the little things back in there and then pinch and close and just so you can see uh so this is obviously the next item i'm gonna show i wanted to put aerial floral next to it because the background of aerial floral is a little more blue and this is green. Um, the green is just not coming across in the video though, but this is green. So there's that. So this is the, the last item in the collection that just came in uh, yesterday. And I wasn't going to order this at first, but I was like, this is actually another really unique item. It's a literal seashell or clamshell cosmetic. Vera Bradley has had, and I, I apologize about the, the weird lighting today, um, Vera Bradley has made clamshell cosmetics for years. I mean, they made it in the velvet and the cotton, you know, it, it's basically the same shape, but it's like a little, you know, shallower, usually has a little bit of a longer base. 
but this one is literally playing off of the clamshell. You've got the unique clamshell stitching here. It is the recycled cotton, so there is no other additional quilting in the background. And it is just so cute. I just, I love it. And I love, too, getting, like, a variant of the pattern without a ton of, like, little quilt squares going through it. Like, we'll, we'll see with the bigger items, but... You know, see how you have like the quilt squares kind of interrupting the pattern. I mean, it's light stitching, so it's not like a huge interruption, right? But I mean, you can see it going through some of the darker pigments of the pattern. And so it's kind of nice getting, even though we do have the large, thick quilting here that makes the kind of seashell outline, you still get really good cuts of the pattern just as is, which I really like. So this is hard. This is hard to buy online because you're not going to always get Ariel smack dab or you're not always going to get Flounder or Sebastian or whatever cut of the print that you want in these little designs here. So it, it's it's tough. It's a gamble and it's kind of annoying sometimes. I completely understand frustrations about ordering online because I ordered almost everything online and I took a gamble. Well, no, I did or I did order everything online. I I don't have anywhere that I can go in person that's close enough that I can go see things online. It has to be on the weekend and I have to devote like at least half or more of a, of my day to driving to get there. So um, everything I did order online. So it, anyway, it's a gamble. It's a true gamble because you never know what you're going to get. I was really, really happy with this placement got this version of Ariel right here front and center. This is the one where she's kind of, you know, high-fiving uh, the turtle. So, you know, the turtle did get the little death stitch there. <laughs> he did get the stitch right down center on his face, but that's okay. I, I'm really happy with the Ariel placement, and I love how full the sides are with flowers. Even this little, this little white lime green spray of flowers right there. I just think are gorgeous and then you've got flounder kind of peeking at the bottom it is a full flounder but the cosmetic kind of curves when it's empty like that when you fill it it does puff out a little bit more and you can see more of his face um but i i just adore that placement so this is the first time we're getting to see those bigger flowers that i alluded to at the beginning that are missing from the aerial floral ditzy pattern i love those big beautiful flowers they give me rosewood vibes. I'll, I'll stick a picture. Actually, yeah, I'll stick a picture of rosewood right here so you can see. But I also have, I'm using a rosewood item right now. And one of those big flowers are right on my glasses case that I use. This is one of my favorite items that I have. It's like this little microfiber glasses case um, that... Vera Bradley releases with some of their eyeglasses. And I just found it, at, you know, it was just the sleeve for sale a while ago and I, I alternate between this and my lavender meadow one and my double eyeglass cases but anyway I pulled this in because I wanted to show like these flowers here look very similar to the two that are displayed on the glasses sleeve same with the ones over here like they're done in the, a very similar way they're drawn in a very similar way so I, I really like that but those, those are the flowers that are missing from the ditzy pattern. And if we go to the back, we see some more kind of sprays. We got another cute flounder there. We've got Sebastian and the larger snail. And then we do have more aerial placement. So we have the one where she's using her dingle hopper, I think. It's a fork. But, you know, she calls it a dingle hopper. I think that's the name in the movie. It, it's it been years since I've seen it. And I, I'm going to tell on myself here, but... Um, I hadn't seen it up until like maybe three years ago, even though it came out, you know, when I was a, a child, I, I hadn't seen it until about three years ago. So, um, and I, I only seen it once. So retaining lines and, and stuff, I, I know all the words, almost every song, but, uh, yeah, so that, that's that version. I think that's my favorite version of Ariel. I love each depiction of her in the pattern but that's my favorite version. She does have a little bit of a stitch stash here, a little stitch mustache, but that's okay. I still think she looks very cute. And then we have another version of her, and this is kind of her kind of 
she's like in a sitting position but floating in the water very happy very beautiful I love it and then there's the bottom and so the unique thing about this cosmetic what I love about it is that it's a really easy open close like it's so easy to grab the bottom and open and close it I love that about it it's got a nice wide opening the zippers go you know about halfway down on each side and then you open it up and you get what is really cool about this is that is it plastic lined or is this PVC okay it is PVC no it's plastic lined so sometimes Vera with certain cosmetics they'll do like a completely PVC printed lining this is plastic line because you can see the Disney tag back there. It's just very tight against the pattern, so it almost looks like it's a full PVC lining. Unless I'm mistaken. I'm trying to like create a gap between the plastic and the fabric to see, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's plastic lined because this up here is the recycled cotton, which I kind of don't like when they do that because okay, this part's protected, but this part can get stained, but it's okay. It's fine. I don't, I'm not going to use it for makeup and I'm not going to use it for things that are going to leak anyway. So that's fine. But there is that aerial floral ditzy pattern inside. You got flounder waving at you. You do get a large mesh slip pocket. It kind of does hang open a little bit. I kind of wish it was a little bit tighter to the back side like this, but that's all right. We've got another flounder and Sebastian and, of course, some other sea critters. We've got the fish playing the harp there. We'll see those a little bit better on the larger bags coming up here. But I do have the tags. And the official name of this is the Shell Cosmetic and Aerial Floral. And there's the bottom. So that is the Shell Cosmetic. absolutely love that item. It's very plush, too. So very lovely. Okay, now we're moving on up. I'm going to show you the bag that I used for a week straight, and the only reason why I switched out of it, well, two reasons. One is because I had to go into the office this week. I do work from home normally, but I do have to kind of touch base um, in the office every once in a while. And so I ended up switching into a larger bag to hold, like, all of my work stuff, and then a smaller bag for my purse stuff. So I'm in a small Jenny by La Sport Sack right now. And the second reason why I switched is because it's rained all week. And so, <clears throat> this is the bag that I was using. This is the Bucket Crossbody Bag. This is a new style for Vera Bradley. They recently came out with this on their signature line, so you can get this in non-collab patterns. For example, they have it in that new plaid pattern. They have it in that the seashell pattern that they came out with, morning shells. They have it in um, floating plum pansies or no plum pansies something like that and they also have it in black microfiber so if you are a microfiber fan you can get this in your solid black microfiber which I am honestly considering doing someday because I love this style of bag this is amazing it is beautiful and actually I think I'm going to do a separate video like a separate what's in my bag because I am going to eventually switch back into this maybe not today because it looks like it's going to rain I need to check the weather but I do want to pull in my Carson Mini Hobo and do a comparison. This is slightly bigger than the Carson Mini Hobo, just to let you know. But I am in love with this bag. So usually when Vera Bradley does the Disney collaborations, I'm always like, what bag am I going to get? Because there's always a Vera tote. There's always a triple zip hipster. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. Why is it snowing? It's the end of March. Uh, anyway, it just started snowing, but, um, you know, it's very, it's seldom that they release like a, a unique or new bag style with the Disney or other collab releases. So I always either, if I really love the pattern, sure, I'll size up and get a Virato and then use it basically only for travel or work. But if I want an everyday bag, the triples of Hipster doesn't always fit the bill. I do have a couple that I love, but they're not my favorite style. So when I saw that they offered the bucket bag, which is a new to me style, I grabbed this because I'm like, this is my opportunity to really give this bag style a try and see if it works for me. And boy, do I love it. I used it for an entire week. It was so comfortable. It held all my stuff perfectly. 
it was just lovely and happy and it has like a nice slouch to it when you wear it it's just it's beautiful and I actually do like it better than the Carson Mini Hobo and and that's because it is a little bit bigger it's got a little more space and because they added this really nifty I think that's the tag there this really nifty slip pocket and it goes down to almost to the bottom it's right here so you've got about this much space until it hits the bottom but I love that so I have the the iPhone 13 mini here and okay it is the mini size but it goes all the way down to like right here so my phone feels so protected it's not you know sticking up out of the top I feel super confident and you can see even though there's no hidden magnet closure there's nothing that keeps it you know bound to the body of the bag it stays closed on its own it doesn't flap open the way they constructed it at an angle here is really nice too it's just great I love this bag I truly do love this purse and I you know I wouldn't come on here and say that if I hadn't used it for a week and um, there are you know a couple things that I would you know tweak but none of them are deal breakers and maybe I should talk about that more in the what's in my bag video that I'm going to be doing on this but um, and basically those two things are with the Carson hobos that they had a couple years ago you could remove the straps these are fixed on here so that's maybe one thing I would change and uh, the other thing that I would maybe change this is a maybe add it add it like a horizontal zip pocket the only downside about that is that it cuts into the fabric here and it could make for some wonky pattern placement and that is one of the reasons why I decided to get this bag. And you'll see why when I show that second bag here, uh, larger bag. You can get a full swatch of the pattern uninterrupted with no pockets on this bag. Minus the pocket on the back. But that's such a minimal cut into the pattern that, I mean, it's, I mean there could be a chance you could get a, a headless aerial right here. That's possible. I mean, you can get it anywhere. You can get it up here too. But this is such a good opportunity for you to get a full swatch of the pattern, which is another reason why I went for this bag style. And I'm really happy with the pattern that I got here. So uh, just to talk a little bit about the bag before we get into the pattern, you know, it doesn't matter what the front and the back is because there it really is no label on the outside that dictates what's the front and what's the back. And anyway, if there was a label, who cares? Do what you want to do. There is a label, of course, on the inside, so that's technically the back, so this would be your front, and the phone pocket would be on my body, and that's kind of how I like it, but I do like the idea that I can grab it either side and put it on my body, and it doesn't really matter. I have no, like, no bulky pockets, like, sticking into me or anything. Um, it's just really simple and beautiful, so I love that. So, yeah, here is technically the front. I love the placement that we got here. So you'll see that version of Ariel that was on my shell cosmetic there. I love that. She looks so happy and free and fun. You also have Flounder. You got Sebastian. You've got that big spray of Rosewood-esque flowers. You also have the Ariel kind of leaning onto the flower there and looking up. You've got that lobster guy there <laughs> playing the shells. And then the heart fish. You've got this row of singing fish. I love this saxophone fish here. So freaking cute and funny. I love that one. And then I didn't actually, I'm just now noticing this version of Ariel down here. So that's awesome. This is my favorite version of Flounder, by the way. I love, and that's kind of why I wanted to get the zip ID with that version on it because I, I love that. That's my favorite part of the pattern, probably. If you were to ask me which my favorite part, it's this Flounder here. I also love that we have, you know, other sea, um, uh, other ocean critters and creatures and flora and fauna. You know, we have the sand dollars there. Again, you know, you have some seaweed and, and different shells kind of hanging out in the background too. So really, really great. Again, we've got like an aqua teal background here. The colors are right now at this very moment now because it's snowing and it's a little bit more of a white cast coming in. Colors are completely accurate on the screen, at least to me. Maybe maybe a little bit greener in the background, and I mean just like a smidge greener in, 
we're losing a little bit of that green on the screen, at least for me watching it. Sometimes when I upload it, it looks completely different than what I'm seeing right now. But right now it's, it's looking like 90, 95% accurate. We'll just say that. And then here is the back. Technically, you know, again, we've got that nice slip pocket. You do get the aerial ditzy. Oh, look at the fish in there. You get the aerial floral ditzy in that pocket there. And then we get some other versions of the characters. It's almost the same placement. It's just kind of shifted down this way. Um, but we do get the dingle hopper aerial over there, which I love that she's on the edge there. And another thing that I discovered when I was wearing the bag uh, last week is that there is this full flounder on the strap. It's on the inside of the strap, but I love it because when I wear it, I can see it. So I love that. And you do get a hefty base with this bag. Um, but the neat thing is, if you're worried about, you know, I, I'm someone who likes, say, say if you are someone who likes a flat crossbody on your, your, your body, I can completely understand that. I like both. I like a, a bag with a big base and wearing it as a crossbody, and I like a slim bag because I think there are, it, you know, there are moments that call for the different styles. Great thing about the bucket bag, though, at least this Disney version, it is does not have a hard base in it it's i don't even think it has a base in it at least it doesn't feel like it let me stick my hand inside no it's padded there's padding and i think they maybe added maybe an extra layer of fabric or something there is no base okay wait let me take that back it feels like there's something very thin like maybe a thin layer of padding but it doesn't feel like your traditional like if you grab a vera tote and it's got like that sewn in plastic base it does not feel like that it feels like the fabric is very flexible so if you don't feel it it's gonna it's not gonna stick out wide on your body and when I do my what's in my bag I will go more into depth we're already at 31 minutes and we still have one more bag to go so I won't stress too much on that but I just wanted to, to say that for those who might be concerned of wearing this as a crossbody and I know there are people out there that loves loads of pockets so the triple zip hipster is a better style for them but again, the Triple Zip Hipster is just not my top bag. I can't get what I, I don't even carry that much and I can't always get it all to fit in the different pockets because there's pockets on pockets and not much of a base. So um, that's why the bucket bag works really well for me. So for interior structure here, we've got two really nice size cargo pockets there. And then we have a large zipper pocket that, let's see if it goes down to the bottom. It goes almost all the way down, not quite. Another thing I want to say that I love about this bag is that I got a flounder and a Sebastian greeting me when I opened the bag, which is great. So that is the bucket bag. And another thing I wanted to say is that even though all of these pieces are recycled cotton, they feel like their signature cotton. They are very, very soft to the touch, very flexible. And I've had no problems with like strings or fraying or anything. Granted, I've only had this stuff for about two weeks, and more use and time will tell, but everything feels and looks really, really great. Okay, so on to the last piece. So originally, I ordered the bucket bag and the small Vera tote with the intention of returning one or the other. And originally, I had the, just the small Vera tote and then some of the accessories in my cart, and I was going to go ahead and check out. But the reason why... I ended up throwing the bucket bag for all the reasons I did explain already, but because I thought there was going to be less of a chance for me to get really choppy pattern placement with the bucket bag because there are no pockets or straps interrupting the center fabric. Well, I decided, you know, I don't know if this collection is going to sell out right away. I don't know what is going to happen with it. I decided just to go ahead and get both of them. And then if I didn't like one or the other, or if I didn't like either of them, I could send them back. Or I could do like a phone order at one of the stores and maybe have someone help me pick pattern placement and just go that route. But I decided let me just get both of them. And I again, I usually don't do that. But so normally I would just get maybe if I could swing it, I'd get like one bag and then a couple of accessories or just a zip ID. But that's what I decided to go with. Well, when I got this bag in, I was like, this is a keeper too. I don't, I don't think I can return this. And honestly, I, it's, it's crazy because I, I've always loved the small Vera tote since I first tried it like two years ago, 
but I'm falling more and more in love with the small Vera tote. I love the large. The large has its uses for me, and it's very perfect. But the small Vera tote is something that I can easily, you know, rationalize carrying every day. Whereas the Vera tote is a little bit on the larger side for me. So this is this is really great, and I'm so happy with this placement. I I was actually a little bit anxious the day that this was out for delivery because I'm like, I know that it's going to be choppy as heck. I'm going to get decapitated aerials everywhere. And I'm so happy that that is not the case with this bag. So on the front pocket here, we've got a nice full aerial. This is the one that is on my shell cosmetic, the same one. It's going to look a little bit different because of sizing and because of the lack of quilting on that one. But I'm very, very pleased with that. We also have the saxophone fish kind of underneath the zipper. I like the star right in the middle too. And then above the pocket, we've got a really great Sebastian. And we've got the shrimp and the snail. And then if we rotate over to one side panel, we do have the dingle hopper aerial there at the top. She is a little, her head is a little bit stitched there into the faux piping. This is not piping at all, but that's where the piping used to be. Um, but you can still see her. I mean, it's not like her whole, it's not like you're just seeing her body. You can see her head just fine there. And then we've got the other aerial there kind of looking up at the lobster. And then if we shimmy over to the other panel, we have that aerial. It's the same one that's down here. And then we have a full dingle hopper aerial right there. So I'm very, very happy with this placement. And again, I'm keeping this. I ordered both because I was kind of scared about the pattern placement, but I'm very happy with it. So if we hop on over to the back, normally the back is always better because it is missing that pocket that, you know, we have on the front that cuts into the pattern. So we get a better full look at the pattern here on the back with all of the aerials that we have seen before. Really beautiful. I think you get to see the real trajectory and beautiful bloom of the flowers when there isn't a huge cut into the pattern. So there's that. And someday when I switch into this, I will do a what's in my bag. This is larger than the bucket bag though, so I likely see I'm pairing I'm carrying the perfect amount right now to fit into the bu bucket bag. So I mean I could easily fit my stuff into here and use this too but for right now if I do switch back into a bag after my small Jenny it's going to be the bucket bag and then I love this because this flounder is right here so when I'm looking into the bag that's what I see and of course we get the lovely look at the aerial floral ditzy pattern you do get the standard configuration with the six slip pockets on the inside and there is you know so in this one, you can feel a base in there. It's plastic and it's flexible. Whereas in the bucket bag, I do not feel that personally. So um, that is something just to be aware of. There's the bottom. And so that is the small Vera tote. And so again, this, these are recycled cotton items. So they are missing, especially with the tote. You you're, don't get the piping anymore on the straps or the top or even on the top of the zipper. We even got that for a little while on some of the bags. So that is gone. But again, the, the recycled cotton feel on these collab bags have been phenomenal. I would say the same with Forbidden Forest, but honestly, I think this is softer than the Forbidden Forest items that I got at least. So I'm very, very happy with the quality of the products. Again, I don't see like any, at least on first glance, I don't see any loose strings. And I mean, I've looked at these before, Okay, yeah, I just said no loose strings, and there's one right here. But honestly, that's not too bad. There's not a ton hanging off the top, and it's not fraying. It, it's looking great. And again, use and time will tell, so we'll see, right? But I'm just very happy with this entire collection. I got everything that I wanted. I hope that if you were interested in this collection, that you were able to get what you wanted. Before you jump on the third-party sites and pay the high... Uh, retail prices check out the Vera Bradley website the paper store website um call a store anywhere in the country call you know and occasionally yours they do ship out too um they're an Ohio based company and see what you can get because there are still items out there the website sold out within like a couple of days or a day 
but they did do a restock, I believe. I haven't checked recently what's available, but do check that before you pay those. Unless you unless you want to get a specific placement and you found that on a third party site, I mean, do it do whatever makes you happy. But um, before you result to that because you think that's all you have in terms of options, I definitely recommend checking out the website again and then some of these other specialty retailers you can always call and sh have them ship to you at least the viewer stores you can so i am very pleased with this collection i again i i don't foresee myself getting anything else i think you know i'm very happy with these two super happy with the zip id the cosmetic and the mini travel treasure chest i i'm so pleased with these um you know i i would get a large viewer toe i kind of still going back and forth in my head whether or not I should get the the um this version with the pattern because they do have the shell version that I showed a screenshot of earlier but I just I have too many large Vera's and I'm trying just to keep like my custom large Vera's and then like maybe some of the rare ones that I collected but that's it really trying to cut down on my collection and being serious about it so but I'm very happy with these and I'm so excited so I hope Anyone who wanted to see um, some more looks at the pattern, that this was helpful to you. And that, again, if you wanted anything in this collection, that you were able to find it. If you have heard, Vera Bradley is releasing a Star Wars collaboration. We don't know the date yet. We don't know the release. Many people are speculating the release is going to be on May 4th, which I think is very likely. So that's very smart of you uh, Star Wars fans out there to speculate that. That makes sense. May the 4th be with you. So I'm very excited about that. I'm, of course, going to see what that pattern looks like when it comes out. But I am almost certain that I will probably get something in it, whether it's a zip ID or a bag or whatever. So anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. And uh, thanks for being patient with my lulls and uploads. I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you again soon. Bye.